thank you all for being here. Over the past week, more than a dozen suspicious packages have been sent to, through the United States Postal Service to a media outlet, a Hollywood actor, and at least seven high-ranking current and former political leaders in the Democratic Party. This is utterly unacceptable. Political violence or the threat of violence is antithetical to our vigorous system of self-government. It is a threat to that respect for law and process that allows our people to accept legislation, elections, court rulings with which they do not agree. This is the central feature of our system of government. You advocate for your beliefs enthusiastically, but we peaceably and lawfully comply with the results. So I am pleased to participate in this announcement that a suspect is in the custody of the FBI. I want to remind everyone that the defendant in this case, as in every case, is innocent until proven guilty. He has been charged today with five federal crimes, including interstate transportation of an explosive, illegal mailing of explosives, threats against former presidents and certain other persons, threatening interstate communications, and assaulting current and former federal officers. For these charges, the defendant faces up to 58 years in prison. These charges may uh, change or expand as the investigation proceeds. This is a law and order administration. We will not tolerate such lawlessness, especially not political violence. We can confirm that 13 IEDs were sent to various individuals across the country. Each device consisted of roughly six inches of PVC pipe, a small clock, a battery, some wiring, and what is known as energetic material, which is essentially potential explosives and material that give off heat and energy through a reaction to heat, shock, or friction. Though we're still analyzing the devices in our laboratory, these are not hoax devices. I want to focus for a moment on the amazing work of our folks at the FBI lab. Based on their initial analysis, they uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. We have confirmed this fingerprint is that of Cesar Sayoc. There is also a possible DNA connection between samples collected from pieces of two different IEDs mailed in separate envelopes and a sample previously collected from Sayoc in connection with an earlier arrest down in Florida.